This mini lecture discusses the impact of global climate change on sea levels around the world. There are two main causes of sea level increase and so we expect to see as the climate warms that the sea levels will rise and we'll see or in other words an increase in sea level. The first cause is that as water warms up it expands and it takes up more, more volume and so as our oceans are warming as the atmosphere warms the oceans warm that causes the water to expand and it causes the sea levels to creep up uh, from that expansion. The main cause that you probably hear about is the melting of land-based ice so that would include the ice sheets in Antarctica in the southern hemisphere but also Greenland and other glaciers in the northern hemisphere. As these land-based ice sheets melt then it leads to more water going into the oceans and that causes the sea level also to rise. If all of the ice in these ice sheets combined were to melt it would cause a sea level rise of more than 20 feet which doesn't sound like a lot but that would flood most coastal cities around the world because most coastal cities really aren't higher than 20 feet from sea level. Um, at the current emission levels of greenhouse gases, the models estimate that the sea level would rise between 3 to 6 feet by the year 2100. So in less than 100 years, we can expect to see a sea level rise somewhere between 3 to 6 feet. And that's assuming a certain amount of melting and then also expansion of water. So this image that we see on the slide it comes from National Geographic, but it's from data collected from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and NOAA. And they're showing what parts of Florida will be underwater with a sea level increase of about five feet. And so you may notice Miami is underwater, so much of the Florida Keys are underwater, and the Everglades are underwater. So a large part of Florida would be submerged in this scenario. Um, the kind of a canary in the coal mine, if it, so to speak, is a, a island country called Kiribati. It's spelled Kiribati, but the locals pronounce it Kiribati. And this is a, an island nation in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this nation of islands uh, are on average less than 10 feet above sea level and indeed they're already losing villages to sea level rises. So they've tried to put up seawalls and other things to slow down the the flow of water over their land um, but they know that it's a, just a matter of time. So currently they're looking into purchasing land from the island of Fiji which has a higher elevation so they can move their residents there when they no longer can live on the islands of, of Kiribati. So there are many um, YouTube videos about this island nation and so I encourage you to check them out because they show you some images from the island and how people are adapting. <laughs> 